Hey guys, welcome back to Retro Peace Theater. Uh, so we are now inside the Forest Temple, and this one, I should be able to get through this in a single long play episode. Um, these wolfos are not hard at all. Just block them until they, when they hit you, they bounce off and open themselves up. And then jump slash twice. You're good. Come on. The hardest thing about this whole level is getting the required keys. Um, there are a lot of keys in this game. But I should say there's a lot of keys in this particular uh, dungeon. I feel my gut says there's almost more keys. I don't know, it's a toss up between this one and the fire dungeon. Uh, which one has more keys in it, but... There's a lot of keys. Uh, the other nice thing that not a lot of people know the hookshot can do is it can pull you to treasure chests, which is extremely useful, so you don't have to try to navigate tricky jumps or things like that. So we have the first key. This is such a useful weapon. It really is. Alright, now we're about to be introduced to the mini-boss of this uh, dungeon. But we're not going to fight them yet. These Poe sisters are... Um, they're going to be scattered throughout the dungeon, and we're going to need to take each of them out. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is go this way. <coughs> Move the time block out of our way. Now, it's been a while since I've been kind of just run through this one, so I'm going to try to make sure I don't miss anything, but I may end up doing some backtracking, depending on how this goes. Uh, right now... And I think that one's too far away for me to hit. So this may be futile. What it is is I need to line myself up basically with the back of him. If he turns blue, he's going to rush towards me very quickly. There we go. And there's the map. And we are actually going to jump over. We're going to hit that target, and it's going to pull us across. So anytime you see this symbol on anything, it's a thing that you can use your hookshot on. Still not close enough. There we go. Now this is a room we've not been in yet. We're gonna jump in the water to get down. 
You can climb down, but just use the water. And I should be able to hit that. Ah, uh, come on. There we go. And now we're going to go down the well that we just drained. Now we find ourselves back in this room. And now we're going back into the main room that we were originally in. So you remember the Lizalfos that we fought in the Fire Temple? These are the adult equivalent of those. And this is why we collect fairies. I think one of these over here has a fairy in it. It's either got a fairy or a heart, I don't remember. There it is. Ah, couldn't catch it before it touched me. That's okay. I still have two more. Okay. Oh, the other thing you can't do. Um, remember that mask trading sequence we started with the Happy Mask Salesman? Uh, that is a trading sequence you do as a kid. Um, the masks are useless as an adult because the Happy Mask Shop isn't open. Okay. Alright, so we've got all the keys we can get possibly so far. Now we're going to go over here. There's a room up here. It's locked. We'll use one of our keys for Take him out. Okay. Now this room can be kind of, if this is the room I'm thinking it is, it can be a bit confusing. There's a few rooms that look kind of similar. Yeah, this is the one I think it is. So. We have these giant blocks that we're going to be moving around. Push that back as 
smidge. Because it doesn't look like it will fit. It actually does. I need to push this all the way to the end over here. This is what I love. I love puzzles like this. Um, and now it's dropped down low enough we can jump up on it. Now there is going to be a little bit of backtracking you end up doing in this dungeon just to get everything that you need to get. Uh, we have the same thing here. We've got a block we need to pull back. We have to pull this back as far as it will let us. But we're not going to be able to pull it back far enough to go in there. So we're going to go back here. We're going to drop down. And where this block was in the middle room, there's a ladder. And there is that block. So now we're going to push it. Like that. And if we look over here, there is that eye on the wall. We're going to come back to that. You're going to see those in a few places. So now we're going to jump back down, go back up, now that the block is pushed all the way over, and we're going to push it down that hall a little further to uh, drop into place like the green one. Now I did all those running around for keys so that I wouldn't have to backtrack later because there's another locked door up here. It's all twisted. That is the sound of one of the Poe sisters, but I can't do anything about it at the moment, so we're just going to go through here. And we're going to deal with this room, which has a funny little glitch. He can walk across the open pit. <laughs> and if we fall down, we go down into the room where we fought these guys last time, so we need to be careful not to. But he can walk over it. Two more to fight. Oh, got a little lag there. It's okay. Keep coming, don't they? It's almost like this room is really important and there must be something in here that we need. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah, we have to take them both out pretty quickly. Um, or the other one will respawn. That's basically what's happening here, is I'm not taking them both out fast enough. Which is kind of frustrating, but quite honestly, I forgot they did that. <laughs> The fairy bow. Very important weapon. And this replaces our slingshot. Another cool thing about the fairy bow is that the fairy bow we can use while we're riding Epona. So we can ride and shoot at the same time. Kind of a very Annie Oakley concept, which is fun. Alright, so that's one room. I think that's the one I came from. And let's see if anything's back in these. Might not be. Come on. Nope. Alright, that's alright. We'll be fine. Okay. So we're gonna go back to the room that we were just in a moment ago, because I'm gonna end up going the other way for a little bit. We're gonna deal with this room. So now here. See these picture frames on the wall? Our Poe sister is in them. So we need to shoot while she's in it. And if you get too close, she will go away. Until there's just one left. To which she comes out of and then is going to go down to the bottom of the stairs. Now beating her is fairly simple. We just need to guard, and when she becomes visible again, strike. Drop some arrows. And we get a key. Like I said, there's a lot of keys in this in this dungeon. Now we have the same thing in this room. Nope. Too slow. So as you can see, these aren't terribly difficult. They're not bad. We get a big chest from this one. It should be the compass. Now 
Now, in this dungeon, the compass... I think the compass is probably... really useful in this dungeon. Almost as much, if not more so, than any of the others. Because there are so many keys. The... It'll tell you if there is a key nearby. So... Use that key to get in here. Now, this is another one of those kind of weird, topsy-turvy rooms. And I'm going to jump. And uh, we're going to go up a ladder over here. We're going to go in here. I missed a key. I might have. There's no key in here. So let's backtrack just a bit. got all the ones that I needed. But we'll backtrack. see there is a see if I can see it there's the treasure chest over there but it's on the side of the wall I can't get to it so we're gonna go back we're gonna go in here straightens this room out. Now, I can drop down and get... And this is actually the boss key. But I can't get near the boss's room just yet. But I can go ahead and get the key now, which is cool. We got a little ways to go before we're at the boss's room. So we're actually going to drop down here. And that's all that's in this room, it's just this door out of here. But it's a way we need to go. Here we are. Now we're cooking with gas. And we're back in this room. So now what needs to happen is I need to make that room crook or that corridor crooked again. As you can see on the map, there is a treasure chest over here. This is, if you remember, I mentioned the uh, eye 
it's over here. And to be honest, this is just going to give me some arrows, but I'm here, might as well, you know, get them. So now I'm filled up on arrows. And this is so we can go all the way through again and get back to that room that had the locked door. music in this temple is a little bit unnerving. It's kind of in this weird minor key. At least that's what it sounds like to me. I could be totally off. So we drop down. And now we go up here. I love the bow. Such a useful, useful item. This is kind of a fun room. So if you look up on the wall, you see one of those eye switches frozen in ice. Well, there's a couple ways we could do this. This is the most fun way. I have Din's fire, and I could just use Din's fire to melt it. But why when I can shoot a flaming arrow into it? And now that corridor is crooked. And I just have to wait to go around again. Because that water down there is toxic. Kind of a weird glitch through the platform there. It's still easier just to kill them. need to go back that way. Where I need to go is down here. Now this room is a tricky, tricky room. First off, door. Which... Oh, that's right. This is... Um, so there's another song you can get I'm not going to get. It's called the Scarecrow Song. It lets you make a scarecrow pop up anywhere and your hookshot can grab onto it. But, I, uh, since I'm not going for a lot of the extras and stuff that are in the game, I'm not going to worry too much about it. Take out these. I don't know if I can hit that one down there. Got him. So this is the hard part. This ceiling is going to fall down. You can see where there's holes in the ceiling that I have to try to avoid. So I've got to kind of... See, I need to get to this platform next to open that door. And my next stop is going to be the uh, treasure chest over here.
And now we can get through the door. Okay, so this is where we're going to fight Poe number three. And this Poe is in there. When we do this, these puzzle pieces are going to fall down from the ceiling. And I have to arrange them into the image of that Poe. And there's... actually one more block than is needed so we're actually going to push this one out of the way because we don't need it but it only gives me a minute to do it so you've got to be kind of quick um, which again it's another it's another puzzle that's not terribly difficult or anything if you run out of time what happens is that the blocks will lift up they will turn over and you'll have different images to arrange um, going a bit long on this episode because I was going to try to get, I'm going to at least try to get most of the dungeon accomplished here. And now we beat this one the same way as the others. You know, it wasn't until I was playing Majora's Mask recently, which is the sequel game to this one, um, that I realized Link was inherently left-handed. back at the main room. And as you can see, there's a Poe that's down there. Now this Poe, one of them, is the real one. And you can spot the real one, because the real one, give it a moment, will turn like that one just spun around. If you hit the wrong ones, then you'll end up getting hit by the Poe. So like that one right there just turned. Spun around in a circle. They always give you a clue. is all four pose. And this is an elevator down to the lower level to fight the boss. And we're actually going to do that next time on Retro Peace Theater. So uh, stay tuned. We're going to go after the boss on the next one and do some other cool stuff. We're going to have some cutscenes. So uh, I'll see you guys next time.